All right, so I stopped playing for a little bit, but now we're back playing Watch Dogs. So everybody knows, holy shit! Didn't mean to run into that guy. So I'm still just as bad as driving as I ever was in this game. All right, hopefully also, I have changed some settings around. So hopefully, that lag that I've been getting, hopefully it simmers down. To my knowledge, shit, didn't mean to run that person over. To my knowledge, Ubisoft has not actually fixed any of the uh, issues with this game. So I did find out that there is issues with this game somewhat thankfully. Not thankfully that the game has issues, but uh, thankfully that I was able to get some of them fixed. And of course now my guy was moving. What is going on? My controller is kind of being kind of funky. Clever boy. Pigs are ready. Damien. Tell me you miss me. You had that punk call my sister. Why am I here, Damien? You're also grim, Aiden. My God. Don't you ever loosen up? I want my partner back. Me at the computer. You in the field doing the manly work. I'm here to help you. We both want the same things. Answers? Who attacked us? And I happen to know that you've hit a wall. Now I figured. So, I come bearing glad tidings. The Merlot. The Merlot? Mm -hmm. The Merlot was your fuck up. Bullshit. You bailed on a perfectly good scheme. No one would have found out if you had just stood by me. Six-year-old girl. My niece died because you went too far. Oh, you're adorable. Blaming your family problems on me? Damien crossed the line. He made the bad man angry. What about me? What about you? You're not the only one suffering. They made me a cripple. They took everything from me. Don't you see? That's what binds us together. You got nothing I need. There was another hacker. There was a second hacker. And I know how to find him. And that may be, Damien. But you can't do it on your own. You need me. Your big problem is... I don't need you. Don't walk away. This is the lead. Thanks for the tip. I used to look up to Damien. Taught me how to ferret out weak code and exploit it. And I taught him how to do the same without a computer. People can be more vulnerable than their systems. We were a strong team. After Lena, I was done with him. I didn't waste time thinking about him. And now he's creeping back in. I need to know what he's got on the Merlot. All right, so my, hopefully, all right, skill point acquired. So my controller's kind of fucking up at the moment, guys. So if I can't get that thing to kind of work correctly, I'm just going to skip it to the point where I do. But anyway, in the meantime, I might as well get one of these skill points. There's quick switch with, wow, quick switch. There we go. Increases weapons switch speed. Doesn't really, I don't even know why that's a thing. I kind of find that dumb. Decreases weapon recoil when firing any weapon. Alright, again, I think I'm going to go with the hacking first. I think I mentioned that before. Hold X to for city bridges. Or road spikes, which instead of what we have, it would be instead a road spike. So I think I'll go with that. Actually, I think I was saving up for something, wasn't I? Maybe that one? How much is this anyway? Four. Alright, so that's that's what I'll shoot for next, is that one. Alright, so it wants us to go to another location. Again, if my controller keeps messing up, which it seems like it's... Yep, that was that was a crazy turn in which I didn't do. Hopefully I can get to a car, because when I got into the car and was moving around in that... Really? What are they doing? 
Remote profiling triggered. Anyway, when I was in the car, it seemed to be working fine. So, if I can get to a car, I think I might be fine. Because it seems like we just have to drive over to a certain location. Maybe. If I can find a car, city hotspot, thank you. I really like how when you run through the game, it kind of has that, like, uh, I don't know, has a, has a distinct look to it. It has, like, an Assassin's Creed kind of look to it. Alright, so, moving my guy to that car, but it's not working, so we'll just take this one. Thanks, big boy. Yeah, it's so strange. When I'm in the car here, it seems as if uh, it works correctly. Are the cops really on me already? Fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Now I have to deal with the crazy-ass controls. I don't know if it's going to play. This music. Alright, let's just try Let's take a shortcut. There we go. That's how we do it. Oh, this crazy, crazy thing. The news station. Alright, we should be able to make it. We should. Woo! There we go. The moves. Problem is, I think I'm not really going. Oh, no. I gotta be going the right way. Real quick, I'm gonna take out the GPS and make that a waypoint. Where do we go? Okay, right here. So, it's actually quite a while. This is probably one of the most unfortunate... Oh, shit, I gotta go this way. Woo, you see that? I didn't even hit him. So that's gotta be one of the most unfortunate things with these open world games. Uh, Saints Row 4, if you guys remember me playing that one. That wasn't such a big deal. Just due to the fact that you had, like, superhuman powers. Where you were able to traverse the city really quickly. I mean, in the beginning of the game, you couldn't. But at the end of the game, you could. Whereas a game like this... It eats up a lot of time. I mean, it's fun and it's nice to see that you have a world this vast and open. But at the same time, without a fast travel, sometimes it stinks. I'm sure there'll be people that go against what I say on that. Just due to the fact that, you know, in a real world environment, let's change that. In a real world environment, you would have to do this, but I don't know. I mean, I do like it, but I'd rather do this for side missions. But he, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. I, I honestly, whoa. Okay. Apparently something's going on. There we go. I uh, don't know what just was that was all about. Apparently it took it a second to render that. Anyway, um, hit the light post. But yeah, I just, I just feel as if doing this huge huge drive to wherever it is we're going sometimes it's not worth it I suppose something like that's nice to be able to find a crime but again doing that in side missions and other various things wouldn't be so bad <laughs> taking out another light post <laughs> yo dude get out of the way what are you doing on the road remember all right I'm gonna drive in this this is this is desecrating everything that is holy about this place. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Uh, oh, did I kill her? Shit. I didn't mean to kill her. I just was getting, just trying to drive up to the gravestone. Alright, come on. This crazy controller. Is she dead? I wonder if she came up. Remember. You know who keeps leaving the flowers? No. But that girl has a lot of friends. Had. This is about letting go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible nightmare, but 
You have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden, I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger. Because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... I need to know. You are my brother. And I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. I killed her. No, you didn't. I don't blame you. But promise me you will stop. We need this. As a family. I promise. Maybe she's right. Lena's dead, I can't change that. How do I just walk away? Damn. That was a long time to be remembering. Look at the thing that. Look at the dent in her car. Alright, someone's calling us. You got a problem. Survivor from the stadium. If that guy talks, he'll ID you. Survivor? How did that happen? I'm guessing he didn't die. Now, relax. I got a plan. Meet me at Gorman Heights on the rooftop. Oh boy, Jordy. I don't know, there's something about him that makes me a little bit cautious, and this controller is flipping shit. Alright, I was going to say, I wasn't sure if that was going to play. It was about to. Alright, let's just try to get out of here. Luckily, our car is small enough to the point where we won't... Okay, won't usually hit somebody. We almost hit that guy. But usually we won't, we won't hit anybody. Or, that's at least what the plan is. And that is an ice cream truck. I kinda wanted to take that ice cream truck and take it for a spin. But I did not. Again, also guys, um... In a couple of episodes... Alright, I'm gonna set the waypoint. Uh, in a couple of episodes, I'm probably gonna start taking the driving aspects. Okay, this guy's gonna slam me! Damn, ambulance! <laughs> Who do you think you are? Taking people <laughs> to the hospital like you should. Anyway. Uh, like I mentioned, I, I might be taking these uh, driving parts out of my videos here in a little bit, only because, again, it eats up so much time. And really, if there's something, like, if there's a chase scene with the cars, I don't mind keeping it in. But within the next episode or two, do start to expect um, me to cut out the uh, driving scenes, just because, again, don't think it's necessary unless there's something really important going on otherwise you're just gonna have to have to deal with me talking to you and who the hell wants to do that just kidding that's I think that's the whole reason why you guys watch my YouTube channel anyway it's just for the commentary that I that I give because I'm sure that with so many other people covering watchdogs with commentary and just other channels just doing it in general for the gameplay uh, there's a lot of other opportunities you could go do, but instead you guys watch my channel, and I really can't thank you enough. It really, get the fuck out of the way, it really, really is awesome. I couldn't thank you enough. Alright, I think we're almost here now. The loop, oh shit. Damn, we hit that thing, that hit that wall as if it was nothing. It just sounded like, <laughs> there you go. I find it funny how you can smash into stuff, and it barely really does anything to you. Alright, not the pizza guy. Pizza guy, is that who we... Is that who we forgot to kill? We can get to the... There we go.
Where is he? Jordy can be a pain to work with. He's the devil I know. If things were different, I might be hunting him down. Or vice versa. But if he says we got a problem, I need to take it as a massive understatement. Can't let the survivor ID me. Everything's gonna spiral out of control.